And uh, uh, to this end, let's first uh, give an example of an implicit scheme. That's actually what we already know, backward OLA. Right? So instead of taking a forward difference, un plus 1 minus un, we are taking a backward difference, un minus un minus 1. That's backward order. It is an implicit scheme, right? Because in order for you to compute the right hand side, you need to know un. And uh, uh, before you compute the right hand side, you didn't know un. So how do you compute the right hand side? It turns out there is, first of all, a very simple solution if f is a linear function. Right, so let's say first uh, case one, f of un is equal to lambda times un. Very simple. In that case, I just uh, move this un term to the right hand to the left hand side. So what I get is u of n minus delta t times lambda of u of n. So that's the right hand side move to the uh, right hand side move to the left hand side equal to un minus one. Right? So, un, it's simply equal to un minus 1 divided by 1 divided by uh, 1 minus delta t lambda. Right? Easy? Okay? So, it's not that bad if you have a scalar linear equation. And similar for any implicit scheme. It's actually not that bad. You just move this term to the left hand side and combine the terms. Okay? Or it's actually not also not ba that bad uh, if you have a system of linear equations. As long as you know linear algebra, okay? You just uh, need to, in, instead of dividing by a number, you need to invert a matrix. And if you know how to invert a matrix, that's fine. So what you get is un minus delta t times a of un equal to un minus 1. So what you have to do is you have to say, okay, i minus delta t times a times un is equal to un minus 1. You have to construct this identity minus delta t times a and backslash it with respect to uh, un minus 1. The real tricky thing comes when f is a nonlinear equation where you have to do this so-called uh, Newton's method. So how many people have already used the Newton's method before or learned about it? And, uh, okay, so, and uh, how many people have learned the Newton's method for system of equations, not just a single scalar equation? No? Okay, so that's something we'll talk about in the next class, is, first of all, uh, I'm going to show that if you have backward order, your stability region is this. So as opposed to forward order, which your stability region is this, backward order is like the reflection of forward order. Except for this is not the stability region of backward order, it's the instability region of backward order. Everything outside this reflected circle is actually stable for backward order. It's not like only this small region is stable for forward order, right? Backward order has really, I think, the biggest uh, stability region I've seen for any scheme. So, so if you don't care about time accuracy, you just uh, want your scheme to be stable, period, uh, use backward order. All right. And uh, then we'll talk about how do you actually solve equations like that if f is a general nonlinear um, function. All right. Any questions? Oh, by the way, I found out what ODU one one three uses. Okay, what does it use? It uses one through thirteen order. Uh, it's like a variable order. So um, the ODU one one five one one three. Yeah. Cool. It's one through thirteen orders. Okay. <laughs> uh, it's I, like a multi-stage. They said it's like a multi-stage uh, with like the top order appear apparent like it uses one thirteenth order. Uh, formula.
The, uh, okay, w when does it actually switch all the way to a thirteenth order formula? I think it uses. I think they were saying it uses that all like on all time steps. I see. Uh, but like, they use like first order, second order to like solve up to a thirteenth order. Cool. 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 Yeah, okay, so so next the lecture will study what it actually does uh, under the hook. Uh, it, because whatever scheme it has, it has to it has to solve a, uh, a nonlinear equation like that, right? So when you give it a, a, a f. Yes? And then this is not just, instead of the backward order, solve it forward order. Can, can you say again? In so which in one? Method, for example, we use backward order. Yeah. Inside the system to solve for you. You mean inside this? Yeah. That's yeah. Okay. Yeah. If you use you can use for but you lose uh, the stability, yeah. right? Okay. Oh, and um, if you don't mind, uh, uh, if if you have any muddy points, like uh, any points you, you think uh, uh, could have been explained better, uh, if you can just uh, write it down, uh, I'll, I'll be, it'll be helpful. I can explain that the next time.